Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make this fluted cone in surface modeling. I have already done many videos on surface modeling. I will give the link in the description. You can just go to the link and check out all the videos. Apart from this, I have already made a tutorial on how to use a through curve mesh swept command and all other surface modeling commands. And I will just give the link for the, the playlist and check out all the videos in order to achieve this model i'm going to use the command intersection curves isoparametric curves wrap curve unwrap curve and projected curves law extension and thicken so these are the major commands that i'm going to use for in order to achieve this model so without wasting our time let's get started So this is our 3D modeling workbench. So here what I'm going to do is I'll just go to Sketcher Environment on a right plane. So here I'm going to draw lines. The length of this is 50 mm. And then I will just go to an arc, create an arc from the top side. Okay. This is my arc, and you can see this arc is not coinciding with this. So let us create a coincide. So I'll just select this point and this point, and let us make it as coincide. The dimension for this curve is going to be. 1300 so let us bring this down until here okay now i'm going to create a one more arc here so i'll just go to an arc this is my arc so whatever this arc is there it should be you know perpendicular to this vertical line so let us go to create that okay so whatever the radius is there for this is going to be 15 mm and then the distance from this point to this is going to be 312 so now you can see our sketch is fully constrained you can see our sketch is fully defined now so now let us finish the sketch So once I finish the sketch, I'm going to revolve it. So go to revolve. And here I'm going to select this sketch. And my vector will be along this direction. And the point is going to be this point. Okay. And it should be 360 degree angle. And you can just click. Okay. So now we need an intersection curves on this surface. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'll just go to menu insert derived curves and here i'm going to select an intersection curve okay and in this filter i'm going to select a single face because i don't want to select all the faces so i'll just select this face so now we need to provide a plane so the plane is going to be 270 mm distance from this so i'm going to enter 270 here and you can just click OK. So this is the intersection curve we need. And one more similar to this, I'm going to create an intersection curve. So let me go to intersection curves here. And again, single face. And my plane is going to be this vertical plane this time. OK. And the distance is going to be 0. And you can just click OK. So this is the one which we need. So now whatever the intersection curve that we have created, I just need to pattern this. So what I'll do is I'll just go to pattern feature here. And we need a circular pattern. This intersection curve I'm going to select and my vector and the point is going to be this. Okay, so we need six quantities with a span of 360. 
so i'll just hit six quantities in the span of 360 okay i'll just click okay so you can see there are six curves we got now one more intersection curve i need so i'll just go to insert derived curves and intersection curve so the face is going to be this and my plane is going to be this the distance here is 30 and you can just click ok so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to extrude and i'm going to select this circle okay so it should be in the opposite direction and you can just give it as none and this should be sheet okay and the length of this particular extrude is going to be 300 mm and you can just click ok so now uh, we need to create isoparametric curves for this surface so i'll just go to menu insert and then derived curves and isoparametric curves okay and now i'm going to select this surface so here instead of giving this as a u and uniform so i'm going to give it as a through points okay and i'm going to create a select up points from here whatever the intersection curves we have selected that points we need to select okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a plane here and it should be tangent plane so i'll just select a tangent and the reference geometry is going to be this and this okay so now you can see our plane is created and you can just click okay so once this is done i'm going to unwrap the curves so i'll just go to menu insert derived curves and unwrap and wrap so i'm going to select a drop down and select the unwrap here and the curves that are going to unwrap is this curve this curve these curves and as well as isoparametric curves okay so the face is going to be this and my plane is going to be this okay you can just click okay so now this is the curves that we have and we are going to create a line over here in order to do that i'm going to sketch our environment on this particular plane now just go to line and set your filter to entire assembly start creating a line from here to this edge now we can finish the sketch so now what we have to do is whatever the curve that we have created here this sketch we are going to wrap it on this surface okay so we'll just go to menu insert wrap curve okay so this time i'm going to select a wrap and this is the curve that i'm going to wrap and my face is going to be this and the plane is going to be this okay and you can just click okay so now we don't want this sketch we'll just hide this and this sketch and this plane if we want we can just make it as a show later and these intersection curves also we don't need okay so this is the curve which uh, we have just just did wrap and now what i'm going to do is this whatever the wrap curve is there it is wrapped on this surface so i wanted to make it project on this surface now so how we'll do we'll just go to project curve and the curve that is going to project is this and the project object is going to be this single face and this face okay and this direction you can just give towards the line and select z-axis you can just click okay so once this is done 
we don't want this we'll just hide it and if i hide this extrude and these isoparametric curves now you can see this is the projected curve we have okay so now what i'm going to do is this projected curves whatever it is there so i'm going to mirror it so just go to mirror feature and select this curve the plane is going to be this okay so now we have got these two curves okay so let me hide this and hide this one so now uh, we have to go to law extension and create a surface here so for that i'll just go to insert and here the surface yeah flange surface and law extension and here i'm going to select this curve and the face is going to be this face okay and the whatever the value is going to be 20 and rest of the values you can just keep it as it is constant and 90 and you can just click okay so similarly i have to make this on this as well so i'll just go to law extension again and select this curve the face is going to be this so now what we have to do is uh, we have to thicken this so for that i'll just go to surface and thicken the offset one is going to be one and offset two is going to be minus one so that it will be symmetric okay so similarly i'm going to do the thicken for this so go to thicken and select this surface the values are there you can just click okay so now whatever these law extensions are there we are going to pattern this so go to pattern feature and select any one of the thicken and go to your vector and give this vector and my point is going to be this point and this time we are going we need a three quantities so you can just select three quantities and click ok similarly uh, we have done pattern for the thicken 17 so we have to do the 18 also so we'll just go to pattern feature again and select the vector as this and the point is going to be this point and you can just click ok so you can see now this is our profile and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to sketch our environment so we need to highlight this sketch okay and i'm going to sketch on the same plane you can see whatever the plane we have drawn this sketch on the same plane i'm going to sketch so here i'm going to draw a line so just go to line here and draw this line like this and i'm going to draw an arc here so this is going to be an arc okay and then there is a line here so go to line select this line and just make sure you are just coinciding it with the, this arc whatever we have okay so this arc and this is going to be tangent now the distance from this point to this line is going to be 67 and whatever the distance from this point to this is going to be 30 and whatever the distance from this point to this is going to be 50 and whatever the radius for this is going to be 2135 so now you can see our sketch is fully defined and now we'll just finish the sketch so go to revolve and select this sketch now the vector is going to be same vector the point is going to be same point okay so this time this is going to be our sheet you can just click ok so now whatever the first revolve that we have created so this revolve i'm going to make it as a shell so go to shell and 
select this surface and the value of thickness is going to be 5 mm and you can just click okay so now i'm going to unite all these thickens so we'll just go to unite here and select any one and then i'm going to select all of these okay so you can just click okay so one last feature we just need to trim this extra thickens so we'll just go to trim body and now i'm going to select this unite and the face is going to be this face whatever the extrude this revolve okay and then uh, now you can see the inside material is going to remove so we don't want that inside so we'll just reverse this and we'll just click ok now the outside thicken has been removed and we are going to hide this revolve so now you can see our model is ready so this is the way how we can make this model guys so if you have any doubt please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys